Hello and welcome to this video. Today I wanted to take a look at OEC Trader. I wanted to take a look at a feature within OEC Trader that actually allows you to set up account blocks. So what we can do there is set up account blocks of multiple sub accounts and then set up an allocation rule for those sub accounts. So let's go ahead and get started and open that up here. If I go to trading and then to the allocation blocks menu here, and this does need to enab be enabled specifically for your username. So if you don't see that right away, contact support or give us a call here and we'll be happy to uh, get those uh, allocation blocks menu items here added to your username within OEC Trader. Allocation blocks here from that trading dropdown menu and then we wanna go to allocation block manager. This is where we can actually set up allocation blocks. So what an allocation block is, is it allows us to set up a block of multiple accounts and then set up that allocation rule for those accounts. So as far as which fills go where and, and what the rule is that kind of determines that. So what I'm gonna do is set up a new allocation block and what we'll say is allocation test block one. So you can name that whatever you like, uh, whatever happens to be familiar uh, to you or, or more memorable uh, or meaningful, uh, that's up to you there. That's just user preference. From the left hand side here, we have the available accounts that we can add to this block. So I can add them individually if I wanted to. I can add them uh, and remove them individually as well. I could even add uh, all of them using the multiple arrows or remove all of them. What we're gonna do here is just add all three of those accounts. So we have this block account here. We can even adjust the sequence here. So the uh, order in which those show up here. So if I wanted to uh, maybe move one up or one down for uh, any particular reason here, you can do that uh, within the allocation block manager. Now the next important part here is the allocation rule. So the allocation rule is going to determine what rule it uses to actually allocate those lots. Now the first thing that we wanna do here before that is actually set up some lots here to allocate. So right now we have zero lots uh, and we have the uh, allocation rule. So we wanna make sure that we actually add in a number of lots for each account. For example, you don't necessarily have to have an even number for each. You can set those up individually, uh, depending on how many contracts you're trading and the sizes of the accounts and uh, how you wanna trade those. We're gonna go and, and go ahead and go with an even uh, one, lot per, one lot per each uh, demo account here. And then we can go ahead and see that those are not showing as red anymore. That means they're configured on this side. So now we can actually proceed to that allocation rule section. So the allocation rule section here, we have uh, several different options. Now you'll see that we have these here uh, that uh, look similar kind of in their convention. So low account, low price, low account, high price, high account, high price, high account, low price. So what these are uh, stipulating here is that the sequence uh, of the uh, account here, so in which order it is, uh, will receive that specific uh, corresponding uh, price you know, fill. So the low account there on the sequence number will receive the low price fill, uh, or the opposite here. So low account will receive the high price fill, and so on here. So that's kind of how these four work there. So if you have a uh, preference there for the allocation rule or have a specific reason to do that, you can choose those options. You also have the option to do APS, so average price. Um, this is uh, something that's available there as well as an additional option. So uh, more uh, in more detail, you can find uh, some documentation on these different allocation rules. Of course, uh, if you go ahead and email us at support at optimistfutures.com, we'll be happy to expand on that for you here. But you do have all five of these options available to you. I'll go ahead and select APS here and select OK, and that's actually gonna save that block there. So if I wanted to open that back up from that trading, allocation blocks, and then allocation block manager, I can actually uh, access that here. And we can set up multiple blocks. So uh, if I wanted to have that allocation test block one, uh, I can then uh, go ahead and actually set up a new one there and maybe only uh, use uh, you know two, uh, uh, two accounts on that specific one uh, for uh, you know, another reason there or another uh, type of strategy. So it is possible to go ahead and uh, use those multiple um, allocation block options. If you do have any questions about the allocation block manager and OEC Trader, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email at any time.